Greetings, my fellow knights. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Knights of the Seer. Episode 9, Great Hall in the Darkwood. Arboron's doing a really good job stone cutting. Here, let me speed you up. It's pretty far that we have to go for, for granted, as I said. The faster he moves, the better. Looks like we have uh, Nick, who also has the light armor and glitter now, wearing some as well. And we're making some out of the dare uh, leathers, too. I missed Emerald in that barrel. Oh, did I? That I did. Thanks. And you guys want a north ritual room. Cool. I'll probably make it out of dark wood for now. How much dark wood do I have? A little bit. You know, make the church out of the local resource material. Oh, that's not symmetrical, though, is it? I caught it. Don't worry. I got eyes. You're welcome. So the Raider Lair and now Outlaw Lair. Uh, I guess I'll start accepting these. Just again, for reference, I am required by the rules to clear out an enemy settlement before going to a ruin. Uh, we have already decided as Warbow as the reward for this one. What reward for the new ruin? We have Eltex, Great Bow, or Goodwill. And it looks like I would say in two days, so December the 8th, I'll accept both of these quests so they don't lapse at a, at a time. Oh, House Hess. Oh, wonderful. That's a lot of enemies. 17 of them. What was that last ping? Oh, that was the where to build it. All right, let's see if there's anyone I will like in this group that is not bad. Schaffer here, or Schaefer, whatever. Nimble, beautiful, really good at melee. Possible. I know I already have a, a pretty, you know, I, I have a pretty... Still, still Benson there. TBD. Bloodless, Fighter, Fast Walker? Oh, that is, that's the best so far. By far. O'Neal. I'm going to try to only take one person per raid, so I don't overwhelm. Oh my goodness, Nibble, Tough, and a Melee? Dear Lord. I still think that uh, O'Neill takes the cake with Fighter, because Fighter gives you everything. Fighter's amazing. Okay, O'Neill with two L's. Strick O'Neill. Any Psycasters in this group? That is my next check. So, Kenta is a Psycaster. Don't know what kind. And that's it. Gusius, you look very modern. Um, I do need to give you a weapon, however. And I've kind of deleted all the weapons. Smelt them down into nothing. So although I know you want to be a brawler, for now I'm going to give you a bow, because I don't have anything better. Oh no, I have a dare antler. Dare I say I have an antler. Okie dokie. And then this raid is 
got some range in it. It's mostly melee. But Holster, Kyle have ranged. That's going to be the most dangerous. It only has two range, but that's going to be the most dangerous to try to close the gap with Scorpius for side casting. Because um, you kind of die getting shot at the torso. What do you think, Yoda? We going to survive? And you guys want great bows. So I'll be accepting both ranged weapons. Yoda is unworried. <laughs> it's too bad that this isn't built yet for me to be able to use. Um, you know what? I can actually use it. Let's see. Dark wood, dark wood. And... Here we go. The uh, glitter decided to go to sleep instead. Oh, good! They're setting fire to my walls. Yeah, I knew they would. But they're they're not stopping to wait for the fire to to work. They leave. And Gusius, uh shields can't be used with the the horns. Okay, so we do have a choke point now. And it's time to start rallying. So, Gusius, you're going to go manage the fire. Scorpius is eating. Coming down. Here they come. Oh, the one I want is first through the door. O'Neill. So, don't fire at will. He's the one I want because he's also the fastest. Alright, Gusius, the fire is managed. Come join us. Let him, let him duke it out. And fire at will. Alright, open that gate to mess with them. Uh, Nick, let's try to capture O'Neill, because he is the trophy in this fight. There we go, forcing them to fight one another. Perimeter is holding up. Gusius is coming down to join. Kenta is doing a good job chopping them up. And then Yana, you want to go fight your friends too. And then I'm going to pick targets that aren't the Berserked, which is why I have Fire at Will off so that I maximize damage with my Berserkers. No, Gusius, don't do that. Don't do that. Stop, stop, stop. I'm out of side casting, so time to fight the fun way. No! 
I was not done having fun. Get back here. Get over here. I feel like King, but like, you know, not from One Punch Man, but with the King's engine going on. Wasn't done. I lust for your death. Okay, they're all dead. Right? Except for King's a fraud, and uh, Oberon is not. That would be a, a minor difference. Venka, let's take a look at you. Quick sleeper kind. Oh, I kind of like you. Um, <laughs> you're falling apart. <sighs> you know what? Yeah, why not? It seems like the fates willed you to be saved by us. So I will tend to you and you shall survive. Uh, Shay, that's words of healing Oberon. And yeah, I would say this design worked out pretty well. The line of sight blocking and the choke points and all that. Give it a solid thumbs up. Okay, O'Neill, you will be converted. And no one picked up Venka. But she's mostly stopped bleeding. I wish I could see um, what Psylink they had. But I don't think there's a way for you to ever tell. Am I already at my max time for the day? Uh, no. You can make me stream longer still. Generally speaking, I mean... Alright, I'll speak very truthfully. Uh, Twitch probably is about 40% of my income or so. With like, YouTube being... Well, no, maybe like 35-ish percent of my income, something like that. And um, probably about a third of that comes from the miniseries. Speaking very bluntly, very honestly. So, although it is a subathon, I'm likely to probably go to midnight whether or not you tip or give subs or resub or anything like that. Like, this isn't about trying to bleed you guys dry full of money. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy going the full time regardless, just to let you know. But uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'm at max time because it's... It'd be six hours and... 22 minutes left otherwise my math is not wrong all right so you have psychic healing you'll be fine very quickly getting Oberon and all the other brawlers uh shields might be good if we decide to go one-hander if we do two-handers that's fine oh shoot you are dying quickly let me fix you I like how on the opening engagement, uh, Oberon cut off his toes, and I totally forgot because I had shocked him. But he didn't get brain damage, which was good. Lady Shell, Parduk, <laughs> thanks for uh, the gifted bits, and Spraxis for all the gifted subs. I, I appreciate it. It really does go a long way. I am, if you're wondering, the amount of money I get from sponsorships is like uh, maybe a few hundred dollars a year. I barely do sponsorships. They're generally more effort than they're worth because sponsorships have a lot of caveats of like, you must say X, Y, Z. You must produce X amount of content, so on and so forth. So most of this is just community um, driven channel almost entirely. For better or for worse. Oh no, I just killed the, sorry, Scorpius. Just killed the solar pinhole. Which is not good. Because then it gets very cold very fast. Benson, move! Okay, all the prisoners now have beds. And I will try to convert them 
as fast as I can. O'Neill is one heck of a brawler here. Like, holy cow. This is like S tier stats. Fast walker, fighter, which gives you shooting accuracy, reduction in aim time, melee hit chance, dodge chance, in, uh, reduction of incoming damage, re reduced spring trap chance, mental break threshold, re massive reduction, pain shock threshold reduced, and global certainty, fa certainty loss factor reduced, which is gonna be harder for, for him to convert as a result, but still, and bloodlust. Really? Really? My steel gate gets hit by lightning. Of all areas, of all areas, for real? Have some bits? Well, thank you. Thank you for the bits. And Bot Maniac? And Pavlov? Alright, I did set... Uh-oh. Venka getting sick. I can fix that. Alright. The prisoners here, I'm not going to use medicine. I'm just going to use magic. Magic's faster. And then I don't mind having to regain my side focus, because all that means is that Scorpius will prey at the tree and become a better side caster. Oh, speaking of which, litter. I'm going to give you enchant quality. So she is restricted from the rules to only enchant quality and mend. So what enchant quality does is it takes your gear like this and goes, hey, make it better. Make it better. And it only goes up to excellent. It doesn't go past excellent. Well, that's pretty strong, right? Just turned a normal piece of clothing into an excellent piece of clothing. Sashi, thanks for the bits as well. And I could do that, you know, on everybody's stuff. So when she has Psy Focus, uh, I could just magically improve gear. And it, it tells you here, um, the caster concentrates on an item and attempts to improve its quality by reshaping the materials slightly, but cannot imitate a master's handiwork. Oh. All right, uh, pink cam for that, Kadath. Uh, where's my coffee? You, sir, get a cheers. I think I've now maxed out on time. Thank you. Whose mug is this? Agro's mug? I need to make new mugs. Jesus, Jesus, what just happened? <laughs> Armor on leveled up, so he could get kill skip, which is skip and kill. It's not a guaranteed kill. It's like you skip and then you do damage. Uh, or a new school of magic. So there's the pull on that. And then there's also the tree linker, so I can link someone new. Um, so Madzy still doesn't have side casting but Shay, Glitter, Oberon, and Scorpius does, or Nick and Gusius, because they would be the other. So I'll have you vote on that in a minute. Uh, so I'll give you one, one minute to vote on this. And, oh, even more, Mighty Construction. Oh, legendary? Oh, that is hard to pass up. Well, a Masterwork Harpsichord? These quest rewards are pretty awesome. All right, one more day, and I accept Raider Layer and Outlay, Outlaw Layer for their ranged weapons. I will not forget. Did the coffee tip go through? Uh, probably. If it says last tipper, let me check. I almost never have that overlay open. Because I'm, I'm an irresponsible streamer. <laughs> Uh, where is that overlay? I don't even know. <laughs> it's so bad. It did. It did go through. For coffee flavored formula and treats? <laughs> Get the baby hooked on coffee. Okay. 
Uh, so Warlord it is. It's probably the last of his Warlord. I mean, we can keep adding Warlord to him if you want. For him to get Beckon. Which is basically, uh, you know, get over here. It forces them to come to him. Which is good to peel enemies away. It's also particularly good if you want to kite animals. So if you aggro a Thrumbo or a whatever, you can force the Thrumbo to follow you around. Plus, you know, who can catch him with speed boost? Or to open up a new uh, a new school of magic. Here, as a reminder, he's restricted to Protector, Empath, and Warlord. So, But he has no level cap. Unlike everybody else other than Scorpius, uh, he has no level cap. The only two uncapped is Scorpius and Aberon. And I did that for, for balancing reasons. Alright, you guys, I want to trade with you. Because I have a lot of junk. Jesus, you can't afford anything. But actually, primarily, I want to gift you a lot of stuff. Because I would very much like allies. Anything normal quality or low quality, I'm just going to gift. Which is, like, everything here. Oof. Uh, that's only 25 rep, which is not great. But I don't... Hmm. I could do Pemmican, but I, I don't want to. The level caps are for balancing. Well, uh, it's already unbalanced, but if we had no level cap, you could just sit at the tree all day and have everyone be psychotically strong psycasters. Maybe that's fun to watch, but I'd be worried that it would make it would trivialize combat in a supreme way. A party. Oh, did a puppy treat. Sorry, Lady Shell. Oh, here we go. Gotta get him started early and proper. And more coffee. Cheers. The left door isn't aligned. You're right. That is a... That'll get fixed. And let's see. In here, I will do... Four columns. In the four corners. Uh, a lectern. And... The seer table. And then pews. I'd also probably like to put some candles in there, because I think it would look cool. So let's queue up tallow. Uh, for that, I'm going to make a new box. There. And that box is going to have salt and fat and tallow in it. Hey, buddy. <laughs> he is making all sorts of food noises. Little grunts. It's cute. It's weird, but it's cute. Oh, malnourishment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you're allowed everything now. Please feed Benson. We're so close to having him converted. Oh, Neil Certainty, 98 to 98 percent. Oh man, that's uh, that's rough. I queued the tallow, but I deleted it because I'm changing where I'm making it. I'm gonna make it down here instead because it's it's not something I need in my kitchen. The kitchen's already full enough. Hey, buddy. Uh, you failed at a pew. Oh, you know, did I? 
Yeah, I mean, you have a passion in construction, but your pews suck. Seer shrines don't have a quality to them. And then we also want a seer stone. So if we want a seer stone, I need to make an art bench. And maybe make sure that I have enough dark wood for it, because I've been queuing up a lot of dark wood stuff. I think the trees, well, 90% is close enough. Most of the trees that are behind my walls are immature, because I've been clearing them out pretty regularly, or checking them at least. Uh, tree linking. So here's that pole. Is there anything else? Oh, Scorpius is about to level up. 0.2 away. So he'll get a new side cast or something. So who is left for the anima tree? That will be left up to you. And this is coming together. This little prayer room. Sorry, Scorpius, to wake you up. But it wouldn't be terrible to have a source of light. No, that was Skip, because I'm an idiot. I was wondering why I wasn't casting. I have my answer. Raid bandits, prepare a while. Uh, my prisons are full up, so I'm not even going to look for prisoners here, because I'm not taking any. Take no prisoners. I still have the temporary dark walls in place uh, that enables me to not have to worry about the, the choke point is still going to be a choke point. Drop! Thank you for all the bits, and Super Rascal for gifting out a sub. And Mudcomplex as well, I missed that. And Madzy with gifted subs. Man, I am bad at the reading this feed. Speaking of Madzy, with all your gifted subs, it looks like you are next on the tree list. So, you know, I think... I I don't think I'm going to have time before the bandits arrive. Uh, in fact, I am going to advance on these bandits before they come in. And it is time for Raider Lair and Outlaw Lair to be accepted. Uh, Mighty Construction, I don't think we pulled on this, but there's also Fugitive Camp, which is a bandit site. Oh, this is the Chrono Path. Yeah, we don't use that. Uh, so Eltex, Plants, Bone Sculpture, Goodwill. And let's resolve this. So, Mighty Construction, do we except the mighty construction quest. It has taken me a while to get this gate up. I might start micromanaging it to make more progress here. Ow! Don't shoot glitter. Did I just shoot glitter myself? Yeah, Scorpius did. Bet you wish you didn't try to shoot me. Splat. Splat. Okay, this group is gone. Glitter, take a breather. You're just blacksmith. Not just a blacksmith, but... Your value to the community is way more uh, what you can craft, not what you can kill. So close, Chara. Ouch, that hurt. 
Manzi, you want the killing blow? I'll give it to you. So the rewards for this is a legendary warbow, uh, harpsichord, slab bed, Eltex mass, silver, or meditation throne. So they're not insignificant rewards. It's just the quest calls for about 2k worth of construction material. All right, is he wearing anything that I care about? You know, honestly, no, I don't really care. All the forest fires make it really easy for me to find enemies. So down here, is there any site? Oh, tier two site caster. Tier one? There's also the matter of no one's tending glitter. There's also no cover because this is a burned forest. This group's gonna flee before they even attack because they're getting shredded by these bows. Oh, Shay got hit badly. Flee from me. <laughs> Your name is Cricky? Your name was Cricky. Alright, Gooseyus, you're in a bad mood, so go sleep, I guess. You're a very cranky 16 year old knight. Well, uh, that's probably about average. Looks like the mighty construction is a no go. Lost by a vote or two. And then Fugitive Camp, um, what reward for the Bandit Camp? I know this is a little interruptive, but we have Side Trainer, Not Use, because it's a School of Magic I'll Never Use, Art, Eltex, and Plants Trainer, or Goodwill. All right, the last group is attacking, they're coming in, so uh, let's see here. Let's get in position. Our bleeds aren't so bad. And I haven't really used Scorpius' side casting at all this fight. I've kept it in reserve, trying to do as much as we could without it. That way I, you know, towards the end of the fight, I could rely upon it to clean up. So, Hun. Oh, are you Attila? Song Hoon, the Hun. Any Psycasters here? Nay. Unless Blair is. Nay. Sorry, Ray. Shay, you can go. You're in a really bad mood. I don't need a mental break as I'm in a fight. Scorpius, find a next target. Sorry, Bates. Wow, Auberon is hungry. I dare you, come through this door. I probably need to put uh, a growth terrain blocker. Oops. Wow, so many misclicks. 
a growth train blocker here, so there's like a tree in the door, and also here to maybe up like that. Lucky, time for you to live up to your name. Hey, you're unconscious. I guess that's lucky, all things considered. Ow, don't shoot Mazzy in this torso. And they are done. That is all the raiders. Madzi, I'm gonna have you get killing blows here after I patch up that horrible torso wound. And you guys want the Eltex trainer and the plants, or Eltex and plants trainer for the fugitive camp. Got it. Psychopath Nimble. I guess I really don't care about their gear. So Madzi, go to town. And Scorpius leveled up. So, uh, what to invest on Scorpius? Architectist would probably be Berserker Pulse. Uh, Protector would be Focus. That leads to Regrow Limbs. Skip Master could be Wall Raise or Mass Chaos Skip. I could unlock Conflagrator, unlock Frost Shaper, unlock Archon, or get a new Focus type or upgrade stats. Oh, 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 oh. Just realized all the bedrooms are now cold. Actually, let's see how Benson handles. Nope, Benson lost. O'Neill wins. But, you know, only his cleanup. Not exactly fair at that point. Nick, let's patch you up. Oh, an Eltex meteorite. Nice. Eltex delivery from the sky. Posture check, you got it. All right, Shay, I'm going to wake you up a little early because I'd like for you to get the medical experience here. Uh-oh, that's not good. Uh, Scorpius, little help. The veteran who's psychotically strong just went crazy. And is now a trauma savant? No, I accidentally hit the wrong person with that and set her on fire. Uh, don't fire it, Will. That might be helpful, I have no idea. Yeah, that's helpful. Uh, she's a trauma savant who will be amazing at planting, planting things. All right, here comes O'Neill. And he has a brain scar. I'd rather have him have a brain scar than have Shay get, you know, brutalized. Shay. I'm to tent. Oh, this is coming together. Yeah, I can heal that brain scar if Scorpius, if you guys decide, and it looks like you have, for Scorpius to go down the protector tree. He's now one skill point away from regrow limbs, which heals scars, like brain scars. Okay, I get it. Thrombo meat is spoiling. <laughs> Stop alerting me. In fact, I have block unwanted minutia, uh, which, uh, what is the alert actually called? Because I can set up, the, uh, rot it away. I can, I think I can set it up so it doesn't even bother me. Rot it away in storage, ignore. It's a great mod that uh, Mr. Chimic, who was a member of our community, made. Uh, specifically, he made it when I was streaming the Wendigos. And in the Wendigos, there was a, like a lot of um, 
there was a lot of uh, tainted clothing that was getting destroyed purposefully in shallow water, but it would constantly make that annoying alert noise. So he made the mod to uh, mute that alert noise, but I've been using the mod ever since as just a way to block uh, garbage alerts that I don't want to have to listen to a thousand times over. So if there's a certain alert noise that bothers you, the bum mod, block unwanted minutia. Big thumbs up for me. And if you, uh, not that this is a, but if, if, if you look up it, it's all alert messages can be blocked. Uh, or these alert messages, which is like boredom or hunter lacks weapon, like any of these annoying ones too could be blocked or letters can be blocked or, you know, miscellaneous. So in the miscellaneous here, what this has enabled is remove and disable the automatic add food from caravan. So if you're ever caravanning and it automatically allocates food and you have to hit the checkbox to be able to manually allocate food uh, and you hate doing that, Block on Windham Musha does that as well. It, it does a lot. Thank you, fellow knight, for tuning in to Knights of the Seer, which originally streamed live on Twitch August 20th and August 21st. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. But please keep in mind that this series was a one-time only mini-series, which means that I can't incorporate any suggestions. If you would like to get more involved in the RimWorld miniseries or any of the other events in my gaming community, a link to Discord can be found in the description of the video or at Rodamont.com. All of these miniseries are suggestions submitted by you, the viewers. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons and Twitch subscribers and viewers like you that support the channel. I hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow knight.